Most people think about their financial life and retirement in terms of age. You work hard and save when you're young, and then you spend and enjoy when you're retired. But this is an archaic and limiting way to view your finances and retirement. Come here. Why would we work our entire life just to save up a bunch of money and then retire and like at 82, you finally have money, but you're too busy in a retirement home pooping your diaper? Sounds stupid. A lot of people don't realize that retirement is not an age. It's a financial number. And those of us who are aiming to achieve financial independence get something that others only dream about. Can you guess what that dream is? It's not about being a millionaire. It's not about driving the fanciest car. And it's not about having enough money to afford hookers, weed, and beer. You know who you are. It's about control. See, oftentimes, especially in America, we get trapped down by climbing the corporate ladder, by getting that next raise, by becoming an executive director. And that fuels us into living a lifestyle that's far over our head. And then we just become addicted to what's next, what's next, what's next. But then you look back and you, you realize you're trapped. You don't have any control over your life. You're bonded by your job, by your title, by your salary, by your debt. But those who achieve financial independence unlock the secret of having full control. That's control over what you want to do, when you want to do it. They want to keep working, they can. If they hate their boss, they can leave. They want a job closer to home, take a pay cut. Cut that stupid commute out. Want to retire early? And I'm talking like the age of 40, 45, even 30? They can. Boom, that's called control. So many of us aspire to have that control, but then we sell away our rights of having that control. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you how it's possible for you, no matter what your age and your starting point is, to achieve financial independence. How to achieve it, what you must know, and how you can secure your future. So let's get started and I'm gonna ask you a question. How much do you think you really need for retirement? Pause the video now and drop a comment down below. And then we'll revisit what you comment down below to see how close you are to this potential once we calculate it. So go ahead, pause the video, I'll wait. So the answers to this question typically can vary immensely. The financial noobs will say something like, well, you probably need about five to $10 million to retire. Financial advisors and those retirement calculators that you find online, typically they'll look at what you make now and try to target somewhere between two to $10 million, which is just a ridiculously large range. But then there's the third people. And these are the people that have dialed in to understand exactly what they need so they can be highly successful and achieve financial independence and have enough money to retire early and hold that money all the way through old age retirement as well. And that safe range of having money that'll last you for your entire life is called the safe withdrawal rate. This rate is the maximum rate at which you can withdraw on a portfolio that you build up of investments that you never run out of money in your lifetime. Now you might ask yourself, well, what about a stock market crash? I mean, things can happen in the stock market. Is that really a, a safe thing to do? And what about rising inflation? Inflation keeps going up. I can't just live off of the same amount of money every single year, five, 10, 15 years from now. How would a safe withdrawal rate even work considering all those numbers? Well, that's where this study from Trinity University professors comes in. It's called the Trinity Study, and it was published in 1998. The study aimed to determine a safe withdrawal rate from retirement portfolios that contain stocks and bonds over various periods of time. The study is famous for its conclusion that under many scenarios, a withdrawal rate of 4% of the initial portfolio balance adjusted annually for inflation would allow a retirement portfolio to last at least 30 years in most cases. So that includes stock market crashes. But let me take it a step further. Here's my own personal calculation. I'm gonna build up my portfolio over time. And as you can see, I can live off of $6,000 a month. And that factors in inflation, and it also factors in a very conservative stock market growth rate of only 7%. It also means I'm not touching my actual retirement accounts like the IRA and the 401k, and it doesn't factor in social security, which kicks in later on down the road. And you can see right here, if I scroll down, if I decide to retire at the age of 50 right here, my money and my portfolio last all the way until I'm 121 years of age. And That'd be great if I live that long, but ultimately, that's okay if I run out of money at that point because this doesn't even factor in retirement accounts. No 401k, nothing like that. And it also doesn't consider social security because if social security doesn't exist, I can survive. If it does, it's extra money that'll allow this portfolio to last even longer and be able to be something I can pass down to my kids. So now that we have the background of 
how this all might actually work and how this can lead us to building a wealth portfolio that allows us to have control and not have to wait until the standard age of 65 to retire or 70 or whatever age it may be. Let's talk about the steps that we need to take today, no matter where you're starting from, to achieve financial independence. Step number one, you're going to want to calculate your expenses. Now, this is where the financial calculators and the noobs go wrong. They don't factor in expenses or if they do, it's the wrong way. See, a financial calculator will say something like, how much do you make right now? And it'll factor in inflation and all that. But let's say you're a baller. You make $200,000 a year. Well, that financial calculator will estimate you need $200,000 a year years from now. When you're like 82 years old, you need $200,000 a year. And, and that may not always be the case. See, once you're 82, you might not have kids in the house anymore. You might not have the expenses that you have today. So why would you need to project to that? You're going to be sitting around again, probably in the retirement home, not needing all that money in the first place. Meanwhile, you had to wait until the age of 65 or 70 to retire because you trusted this calculator and now you're stuck with only a short period of time to enjoy your money. That just doesn't seem right, does it? So what you need to understand is how much do you make right now and break it down in the different categories. So put on things like kids' expenses that may not be around 10, 20, 30 years from now. Put on things like your car. Maybe you'll have your car paid off. Put on your house. Maybe your house will be paid off in 30 years or so. And so what you can then look at is, okay, here's my expenses here today. I calculated all of that up. And then what we're going to do is a very nice estimate of how much money we'll need when we're age 40, 50, 60, or whenever we decide to retire. What is realistic? And certainly if you retire early, you're going to need more money in your earlier life because you're going to want to go out and do stuff. You're young, you're energetic, you're going on cruises, you're doing all kinds of fun things. And then maybe as you get older, that'll scale down. So do a couple estimates to truly find out how much money do I need to live on every single month. Let's say for the purpose of an example for this video, we want to live off of $8,000 per month. We want to retire at the age of 40 and live exclusively off of our wealth portfolio. What you want to do in this step is take your $8,000 a month and multiply it by 12 months in the year. That'll give you an annual expense rate. In this case, 8,000 times 12 is $96,000 a year. Then what we want to do is take that $96,000 and multiply it by 25. This is programmed in with the Trinity study and the 4% safe withdrawal rate that we talked about earlier. This right here is going to be your FI number, your financial independence number, and that is what you want to work toward to have that control. Work more, retire early, dance like a chicken, it's all up to you. But make sure you send in your dance like a chicken videos. I'd like to see them. So if we use this calculator right here and we plug in that we want to live off of $8,000 a month, it'll automatically calculate your starting portfolio balance that you need in order to retire early or have financial independence. Now it's showing a need of $2.4 million. I can adjust my withdrawal rate, but I'm going to keep that at 4%. I'm going to keep the market growth at seven. I'm going to keep the average inflation at 3%, but these can be adjusted if you want to. Now right here, you can see your withdrawal amount is $96,000 a year. So if you retire, let's say at the age of 40, and you have $96,000 in year one, that, that next year is you're going to pull out more money at 98000 Why? Because it's factoring an average inflation rate of 3%. So you can continue to grow your income based on inflation and you don't get stuck with living off of literally rice and beans in your early retirement. That wouldn't make any sense. But you might think to yourself, okay, that sounds all great and fine, but $2.4 million? Are you kidding me? Where am I getting that money from? And that's where we move on to step number two. And that's building your pathway to five. You can start small or you can start large. It all depends on where you're starting from. Now, I invest in the stock market and I follow the teachings of J.L. Collins in the Simple Path to Wealth book. I'll include a link to that book in the description below if you want to check it out. But I'm investing in the Total Stock Market Index. That's what I do every single month. And I like to use two different websites that I'll also link down below that are absolutely free to use. And I love just having fun with it. So plug in your own numbers as we go through this. The first website is this right here, the Compound Interest Calculator found on nerd wallet. A lot of times when we get started with investing or we're not sure where to start, we don't realize how much compound interest can be magical and really help build up our portfolio over time. And the more time in the market is the more time we give compound interest, the time to work its magic. Now, if you're 20 years old, you have time on your side. I mean, you could really build a sizable portfolio, but even if you're in your 30s, 40s, or even 50s, you can still get there and we'll show you how this works in just a moment. So if I don't plan on retiring, in 20 years, I can plug in years of growth at 20. And then I'm going to contribute, 
let's say $5,000 a month. Now that is a lot of money for some people and I get it. But the point is you can start small. You could start with only $100 a month with the goal that you're going to scale that up over time. The more debt you have, the more expenses you have, of course, you're going to have less ability to put money into the stock market. So what you're going to want to do is play around with these numbers based on where you're starting and where you're growing to see how long it will get you to achieve financial independence. Now, see, the trick would be if you don't do anything, you're never going to get anywhere. That total balance will remain at zero. So we got to start somewhere and I'm going to do $5,000 a month. And you can see actually in 20 years at 7% annual growth rate, I achieved well above my initial FI number that I needed, which was 1.8 million. So here, this would actually grow to $2.5 million, way above and beyond what I need. FI can work for everyone. It all depends on where you are and where you want to go. You could go lean and say, I don't need all that money in retirement. When I retire early, I can live off of a portfolio of only $500,000 like Mr. Money Mustache did. Or maybe you want to hear fat fi. You want the biggest luxurious life and you're going to need like a ton of money. Of course, it'll take a little bit longer to achieve, but see, anything is possible in this case. It's all adjustable based on what you need in your life. Now, once, you, once you've determined how much you need to save or how much you're going to save, it's time to hop over to the next free site that I have linked below, and that is the Mad Scientist Laboratory. And this thing is so cool. Each month, what you're going to do is you're going to add in your total expenses for the month, how much money you saved in the investments, and your overall cash net worth. And it tracks it over time. Then what you can do is in the laboratory, go over to the graph, and it gives you a projected FI date. Now you can see right now, mine is count down to six years before I reach FI, which is great. That is absolutely unbelievable. I thought it was gonna take like 10 to 20 years this is projecting six. So it gives you an opportunity to see as your expenses go up or down and as your investments go up or down, how you're trending. This is gonna constantly change every month that you put in and it's absolutely free to use this. So check it out for yourself, plug in and start tracking your pathway to FI. Now I'll tell you, the more I invest though, the more I realize how quicker it's getting to FI. And then you start drinking that Kool-Aid because you want the control, right? So you're like, wait a minute. So do I really need this beer right now? Do I really need this new car right now? Do I really need this expense? Because what I could be doing with this is putting it away so I can have control over my life instead of my things controlling me. And that brings us to the final step, and that is prepare for anything. When you have control, you wanna keep control and not lose it ever. So it's healthy to look at alternatives. It's healthy to look at the negative thoughts of what if the stock market crashes? What if inflation goes up? What if, what if, what if, what if? It's healthy to talk about that. So you can build an ironclad wall around your control. And after all, I bet some of the keyboard trolls down in the comments will put stuff like, yeah, but inflation's gonna be worse in the future. Or yeah, but you're not figuring in any stock market crash. I bet something's gonna happen that's bigger than the Great Depression. Or Susie Orman saying that you need $20 million a year to retire. What the actual hell is that anyway? $20 million to retire? If you only have 20 years left till the time you want to retire, you would have to invest a total of $40,000 a month in order to get to $20 million 20 years from now. Who has $40,000 a month to invest and still live their life? Unless you work from 20 years old to 70 years old, then you could only get by by investing $4,000 a month. But who wants to invest $4,000 a month for 50 years to get to $20 million? This just doesn't seem realistic, does it? But to the other comments about inflation and about stock market crashes, let's go back to the calculator. By the way, my Patreon members will have access to this sheet as well as any other sheet that I put out in the future and also the ones that I put out in the past. So if you wanna join us on the Patreon community, link in the description below. But what I did is I'm gonna take this exact number, this $8,000 at 2.4 million that we looked at earlier, and we're gonna simulate two different things. The very first one is what happens when things are bad? I'm gonna take a period of time between 2001 to 2023. And the reason I took that time is because we had things like 9-11, we had the great financial crisis, and we had COVID. All of those things really impacted the stock market. So what would happen to your portfolio given some realism of the past? Let's have a look. Starting portfolio balance, 2.4 million, as we talked about, at a 4% withdrawal rate. Your balance of 2.4 million in 2001 immediately gets knocked down by $452,000 in negative growth as a result of the stock market bumping down based on 9-11. And then same thing here in 08 and 09, actually crashing down in 2009, look at that by 30% or $516,000. But even with that and continuing to withdraw starting at $96,000 a year and increasing based on the actual inflation percentage, 
your ending balance in 2023 is still $1.2 million. And that's despite all the negative things that have happened over the last, what is that, 20 some years. So that's pretty sweet. We can also look at this a second way. And on the second way, which is on the third tab of the calculator, if you're on Patreon with me, there's your starting portfolio balance automatically calculated. The withdrawal rate, the market growth rate, which we could do 10% or 7%, whichever one you want to do, and the average crash percentage. Average 33, negative 33% average crash is actually provided by this right here from the Hartford Funds tracking crashes since 1950. So the average of all of those crashes ended up being 33.38%. So if we assume that's going to happen every 10 years, which I hope it doesn't, but let's say it does. Every 10 years, we're going to have a stock market crash of 33%. We plug that in. You can see, let's say we retire at the age of 40 at a $2.4 million balance. If we come all the way down here, you do run out of money at the age of 83. So that, of course, would be in need of supplement of some type of social security or other side hustle or something like that. So that way you're not pulling down on your portfolio, especially under the control of some of these crashes, because I bet if we're going through this and we're retired and we're living off of our portfolio and we have a stock market crash of 33%, we are going to take a moment and say, hey, let's take it easy this year until we recover the stock market, in which case you're not selling down on your portfolio. This assumes you are no matter what happens. So the thing is, calculators can't always assume what you can be in control of. The theme of the video is about having that control. Control. I don't know about you, but it sounds pretty sexy to me. And if you like content like this, make sure you subscribe for more. And make sure you check out this video next. We'll see you on the next video.